Chris Aiken presents, and I, of course, am Chris Aiken, and we are going to be talking a little TV and a little bit of movies today. So, of course, I brought back my TV and movie correspondent, the mighty Miss Stephanie. Stephanie, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I am just awesome. Awesome to be talking about TV and movies. <laughs> Not so awesome to be talking about Ozark, as we will get to. Uh-huh. But, um... I'm certainly having fun to do this. Before we even get into it, please, people that are watching or listening or whatever, do all the podcasty shit. Will you notification bell and subscribe and likes and comments and blah, blah, blah. Y'all know what to do. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I need that little thing to come across the bottom. <laughs> Ding. You know, I need all that, but I'm too lazy for that. So just do it. Y'all know what to do. Fuck. So... We are going to talk, first we're going to talk movies. You, you gave me homework. Yeah. You, you sent me to school to do some homework on a movie that, quite honestly, I never, ever would have watched otherwise. And to be honest, I quite enjoyed. It was actually pretty damn good. I told um, you. You did. You did. So we'll start there. Um, you sent me to a place that I absolutely do not go, which is Disney+. Plus. I'm not a, I'm somehow I'm a subscriber to this shit. I don't. I guess I get it with my phone or something. I don't know. I, I, or you get it through us. <laughs> no, you can't say that. You can't say oh. that. I guess I get it through my phone or something. <laughs> yeah. Or the aliens from outer space beam it down. Yeah. There's, somehow the login works. I don't know how that happens. But, but yeah, the, um, the first one that we are going to talk about that you sent me to is, the, um, is Cruella, which is a... Well, there's a lot of lot of description to this thing. It is a live action prequel to the ca to the cartoon of 101 Dalmatians. Is that correct? Yes. All right. Yes. So I I'll tell you and I'll tell everybody up front. I to this point and as of today have never seen 101 Dalmatians. <laughs> oh no. I I did not know the show at all. I, I truly was like, well, I'm going to roll with this thing blind and I'm going to see what happens. And, you know, I, I sort of knew the story. And like everybody else, I sort of knew the whole spaghetti slurping into a kiss thing. That's Lady and the Tramp. Oh, is that? <laughs> I, just, I don't know. What is, what is 101 Dalmatians? It's the what one with all one? the Dalmatians. Uh, uh, than one of them. Yeah, see, I, I really don't know Disney for shit. So, <laughs> obviously, yeah. I'm proving my point here. I went into this thing stone cold. Didn't know so anything. Is your next homework assignment to watch 100 No, <laughs> No, because I really don't want to watch a bunch of Disney stuff. But I was willing to get... You told me that I would like this. And to be, to be fair, 99% of the time when you tell me that I'll like something, I usually do. You know, I, I have I have you two ladies in my life, you and Kelly, and both of you fucking keep me guided on TV. <laughs> you know, it, you both are like, oh, you got to watch this. You got to watch that. And then I watch. I'm like, OK, I like that. And I don't That's think you've ever for. been wrong. Yeah, I don't think you've ever steered me somewhere totally wrong. So I gave this a shot, even though it was Disney, even though it was kind of, you know, kidsy or I thought it would be kidsy. Completely not. Yeah. Com Completely not. Now, for, for people that don't know, this, this Cruella, it stars um, Emma Stone, who you know from something. or what, is, what has she been in? Do you know? Oh, Jesus. She's I been, don't know. Oh, gosh. Uh, I can't think of a single name Of course right not, because I of put course. you completely on the right. spot. It's going gonna, it's gonna to come to me. I saw uh, I'm going to tell you in a minute. What has she okay. been in? Emma Stone. She has been in um, Crazy Stupid Love. And Hannah, and uh, I don't watch those. I, I don't know any of these. <laughs> the Scarlet uh, she's gonna, Letter, Sc Scarlet Letter, Saturday Morning All Star Hits. I don't know that. Zombie Land. Yes, that's a good one. Zombie Land. She was in La La Land. Um, I haven't seen that. I'm just. I don't really know many of her things, but I Carly. I remember <laughs> I Carly no, when my kids she were. She was on that. She was on I, that. Yeah. I did not know that. She was on 30 Rock for a minute. Um, yeah, she, Sleeping Dogs. Yeah, I don't know any of this shit, honestly. All right, so unknown actress Emma Stone is in this. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's not Scarlet Letter. It was the Easy A. The Easy it's A. super bad. 
That's the one. Uh, all right, there we go. Now, super bad we both saw. So there we yeah. go. Super so Emma Stone, and um, she plays Cruella, and um, they go through basically what led her to be this evil, evil genius. Would you call her a genius, or would you call her an opportunist? She called herself a genius. Yeah, but what would you movie. call her? What would you call her? I would call her both. Yeah, she was smart. I, I'll say Very she was smart. smart. But, and she also really knew how to work people. That, and she, that stood out. Yeah, yeah, definitely. She, uh, she was a mastermind. Right. She definitely as, was. As it were. Mm-hmm. And she was and, – and what we do is you go through, you, you kind of learn – and correct me if you think I'm wrong on this, but this seems to be like the tale of evil, just in general, that mm -hmm. fucked up childhood leads to fucked up but brilliant moneymaker. Is that right? <laughs> is that uh, yeah, fair? exactly. But and at the same time, I was rooting for her. Yeah. The whole movie. Mm -hmm. Rooting for her, knowing that she was going to be in the next movie, the bad guy. You right. Know. Well, really rooting for. Well, yeah, she was. It, it was a weird, and, and this is where I'll give. I don't know who wrote this script, but I'll I'll give the scriptwriters credit for this. This was kind of brilliant. The way that it, this was fresh out of the WWE, the way they wrote her as evil, but you still wanted her to win every stupid thing that she yeah, did. Absolutely, it, it it was cool. So, um, and and kind of. The thing that I liked best about this is, let me back up because people probably don't know much about this thing. The, 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 the somewhat plot line is that she was, she was an intern at a fashion place. She thought she was better than the main designer that was like raking in all the money. She saw that that main designer, when she'd been there like five seconds, she saw that that designer was just ripping off all the help. Right. And and instead of taking that as, oh, this fucking sucks. Why is it me that has to do all this work? She looked at it as, well, if she can rip off all these people, I can rip off all these people better because I have better fashion sense as well right. as being a demon. And that's kind of the the plot line to it. And and that was fascinating to me, the way that they wrote this and the way not so much that, because I think that's kind of a given, isn't it, to her character in the cartoon? Yeah, yeah, she's like that. But, I mean, they also spun it to where she – am I allowed to give stuff away, I guess? Yeah, go ahead. Right, we're okay. spoiling. We're spoiling. I mean, <laughs> spoiler alert. Yeah. I mean, it started out where she was um, – where the lady was her muse, and then she was building up. And then she finds out that she was actually the one that killed her mom. So then it was more of a revenge right. thing. And then the way she took her out at the end was just freaking remarkable. I just, it was. No, it and was. Got, and getting rid of her real self and giving everything to her alter ego. Right. Legally. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it was just amazing. No, it was. It, like I said, the scriptwriters deserve the deserve the award for this because the acting was cool. I'm not. I don't know about you, but I don't especially love British acting. And and even though I don't think everybody in this was British, they were pretending to be British. Right. Right. And I'm not. I'm not the biggest fan of that per se. But I don't mind it. I I liked. I liked the direction that they took. And I liked how how they used what would normally be kind of boring scripted writing to set the table for the show. And I, specifically, I liked how they took that she was kind of a thief to survive. Right. But then okay. they, but then she liked it. Yeah. And I liked how they kind of, they didn't just do the obvious, well, okay, she likes stealing shit, so therefore she's taking it. You know, I liked the way that they kind of showed her thieving, showed her finding creative ways to work the two guys into it, to work the dog into it, to work everything around two her dogs. into it, two dogs into it. 
tell but me I, those dogs weren't good actors. Oh, they were the best stuff. That was Especially my Especially Wink. <laughs> ugh, I don't know the dogs' names because you know me and pets. <laughs> But I do know that I, I just thought that was creatively cool, the way that they took what would normally be, they would normally, most writers would normally just leave that as, well, this is just showing that she was a bad seed. Right. But they weren't doing that. They were showing that she was creative and smart. And it and was had, survival. Yeah. And, yeah, you're right. That's exactly what they did. They, they took the survival piece and made it so you did and i honestly think that that's why we, none of us hated me or you hated her right. because we liked the fact that you know she came up from nothing and she really found a way to fuck the man over or the yeah. the woman as it went <laughs> the man <laughs> the man what was her name estella no that that was uh cruella's alter ego or no, the, what her, was uh, i can't remember her name but what was um, her name esmeralda or something it was someone with an e wasn't it i don't know but estella was cruella Right, okay. Just remember her mom was always like, say goodbye Cruella, to Cruella. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, so. And the soundtrack well, was amazing. It was great, yeah. They, they did a great job of finding old, older songs, but not just, not just, well, we got it licensed, let's jam it in. Like every song right. in every place had a meaning. Yep. Ha either had a meaning or had the right flow to take you out of one scene and into the next scene. Exactly. I yeah. think that, that tied it all together for me, where it's just like it's already a, a movie I knew as a kid, mm -hmm. and then you're telling the story of how she became bad. Plus, I like Emma Stone, and then you're going to add in good music, just right. good music, and two dogs. Yeah, well, you and the dogs, of course. <laughs> you, and the, you and the dogs, of course. And... and I'll be honest, I liked seeing the dogs killing the, the bad guy at the end. I like yes. that. <laughs> I did right. take that. That was good. But, yeah, I, I would say overall for me, you know, I, I think we went into it with different, with different sight lines. Like, you went into it wanting to like it, and it played into everything that you like anyway. Uh -huh. So you liked it. Is that fair? Yes. yes. For me, I, for, I, go ahead. Sorry. I feel like. Also, knowing so much about 101 Dalmatians and all that, you know, and I remember the two human male characters in the cartoon as well. Okay. So I got the whole tie-in, and then I got the tie-in of the reporter and the lawyer and how they tied into the cartoon too, which you wouldn't get because obviously you haven't seen that. But right. it, it, they do tie it into 101 Dalmatians. So then compared to the, when you, when you tie it together as one piece, which I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do for now until Cruella 2 comes out when they probably do the 101 Dalmatians probably. in live action, I'm assuming. I would but think, I would hope. I, I'm, I, that's, that seems like where they'll leave it. P but putting the two together, the prequel with Cruella, as well as the 101 Dalmatians movie, does it flow as it should or is, it, is any of it surprising? It flows, for me, it flew, uh, flowed perfectly. Okay. It, it just, I mean, I know, I don't know if you watched the um, post credit scenes. Yeah. Okay, so when they, when Cruella sent each of those people, the reporter and the ex-lawyer, the puppies. Mm-hmm. That's, th those puppies were named Pongo and Perdita. That's the okay. moms of the 101 Dalmatians. The, the okay. parent dogs, the mom and dad. So, yeah. and those were the owners. And then what would happen in 101 Dalmatians is the lawyer and the reporter end up meeting and getting married. And that's how their dogs come together all right. and create all those dogs. <laughs> nice. And do some fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm going to be honest. I watched that at the end and I just thought that was, that was kind of their, their way to say, hey, thanks for the help. Here's a dog. Yeah. I, I really did. I didn't know any better. You would have been like, thanks, but no thanks. Yeah, I'd, I'd have been sending it back, return to sender, take <laughs> right to the pound. <laughs> New phone, who dis? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. But I, I on, you know, where, where you went into this positive and came out of it positive, I went into this kind of like, 
all right, I'll do, um, Steph watched my show, I'll watch her show, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's really how I went into this, and I enjoyed it a ton, I really, nice. really liked it, I thought the acting was good, I thought the cinematography was excellent, that's another yes. thing, we didn't even talk about it, but the, yes. the way they shot it was fantastic, you know, yes. very, very, considering it's a period piece, those are always hard to do anyway, and this looked and felt the part without looking all CGI'd and shitty. I mean, all I kept thinking is bold. The word bold. Like yeah. everything was just, it just was uh, right there. Like it put you there. Yeah. And half the mm -hmm. time, without the music even, it's like you didn't even realize that it took place back in the six, late 60s, early 70s until they said it. Right. Because a, a lot of the styles and everything come back, you know, and, and everything old is now cool again. Right. So I think that anybody could enjoy it. It wouldn't be like watching an old movie. Right. No. No, you're right about that. And I'll be the complete sexist pervy guy here. I found <laughs> Emma Stone to be completely hot with the, with the black and white hair. Yeah. I yeah. loved it. I, she, they, they did very good with her. She perfected that i mean she yeah. was just evil and, and you could tell the difference between estella and cruella yeah you could see the change in her personality and everything when that happened right it wasn't horrible like the first christopher reeves superman where they just <laughs> they put the glasses on him and nobody recognized him it's like oh wow look at that clark kent you don't look anything like superman <laughs> it wasn't like that at all it was it really there was a it it seemed like two different people. The, yeah. the mannerisms were different. The look was different enough to where you could probably in real in real life mistake one for the other or not mistake one for the other. You know, I, I, I thought I thought they did a great job at separating the two while while letting us the walk the viewer know that it was the same person. It was it was really good. Even her accent was a little different. Yeah, it yeah. It, it was cool. And I liked some of the, some of the, um, the tricks. I'll call them. I don't know what you'd call them. The the tricks or the. I especially or liked the the, what do you call it? The maggots or whatever that made up the dress. Oh, oh, the moths. The moths. The moths. Oh, yeah, where the that raccoons was, or oh, the beads. That was freaking it, amazing. That was awesome. Yeah. When they opened the vault and just. <laughs> <laughs> <you> <laughs> know, I was like, damn. <laughs> That's some, and that was some slick shit because Creative. they, they even checked the shit before they put it in the vault. Uh huh. You know, like they saw the she saw her on the camera doing something. She went and checked and was like, oh, it doesn't look like anything. Go ahead, move it, put it in the vault. Then they opened the vault again just to make sure it was still there, and all the moths were there. That was and that was pretty sweet. Ate through all of her designs that weren't yeah. even her designs that she had stolen from her employees. From everybody, so, right? Yeah. Yeah. No. No, I, I, I'm overall giving this one a thumbs up. I absolutely enjoyed it. I, I'm i surprised I did, but I did. And, um, yeah, that was a good call by you. So I did better than you did with Dr. Yeah. Death. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Death, not as good as Cruella. I'll, I'll even say that. Dr. Death was definitely not as good as Cruella. No way. Right. <laughs> Cruella was solid. Unlike the end of Ozark. Oh, God. I hated this. I hated this. I, you know, and, and I'm not even going to go back and tell the backstory or anything. Everybody knows what Ozark is. You know, the two-second version, the husband and the wife, they, they ripped off the, the cartel. They moved out to the Ozarks to launder the money. That's your short story. If you want more, you got four seasons on Netflix that you can check it out. <sighs> they made us wait forever. They made us wait forever. And then I don't know how you feel about this, but for me... They just tried to jam everything up into the last three or four episodes, and it sucked dick. We went three seasons of everything being drug out, just oh. so awfully drug out. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you get the first part of season four, which I hated that they split it up, but the first part of season four where it was like, okay. Yeah. And then the second part was like, seriously? <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I, I don't I, even. I can't even catch what just happened. I agree. It it was, it was ten hours of drivel for me. Yeah, I I I came out of it 
just thinking, why did they rush all this together? Why did they, you know, I, I get that they're not doing a, another season or maybe now I'm reading they're going to spin it off. Are you and serious? It's like, yeah. And I'm like, no, don't spin it off. It's already, it ended bad enough. But they did. And, and correct me if I'm wrong, but they did everything wrong with the ending. Everything was wrong. Uh, just like the Sopranos. I hate that. Yeah. That part all by itself, we'll start there, but then we'll go backwards. It sucked ass when The Sopranos did it. It sucked even more when a less good show than The Sopranos did it. Right. A and leaving the whole, there's a gunshot, we don't know who was killed, that sucks. Especially that since the sun... He pretty much hated everybody at that point. Yeah. <laughs> so it could have been anybody. <laughs> And, and I think that's why they did it. So that they, I honestly think that they did it in case they can find another. And this is all speculation. I don't know this to be true. But I think they did it this way 100% so that they can find new investors to go into Ozark, the next, the next heist or whatever. The and, Everglades. <laughs> yeah, the Everglades or wherever they move to. Cause they, or no, Chicago. They're moving back oh. to Chicago. So it'll be Ozark Windy City. You know, and I honestly think that's why they did it, so that they can they can pick it up where wherever the writers decide to take it, whether it's Marty being alive, or the wife being alive, or Marty had a secret agreement with the cop to kill the wife, or the wife had a secret agreement with the cop to kill Marty, or the kid had a secret agreement with the daughter to kill whoever. You, you know, they left it wide open with a million options. And that, to me, is a lazy, lazy ending to an otherwise great show. So if they move to Chicago, are they going to, like, start hiring the shameless cast to replace Ruth? <laughs> <laughs> well, if they get Fiona, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Fiona left. <laughs> <laughs> but no, the, the, I hated the ending. I hated I it. I did, too. I, I did, too. I wanted, I wanted that kid to shoot his mother. That's yes. what I wanted. I just wanted the woman to die. They killed my favorite character and instead left her. I, who, who? Ruth? Ruth. I loved Ruth. I, I liked Ruth a lot. I, didn't, I won't say I loved her, but I liked her. I loved her character. I mean, the character yeah. that she was playing was amazing. Um, I liked her better in Inventing Anna. But, um, I know you did. <laughs> I most certainly did. She was hot that's as for another be. time. Yeah, I know. That's another hot one. But... Um, Here's what I didn't like about them killing Ruth. As much as we all saw that coming, the minute that she killed the drug dealer, we knew that she was getting it. Yeah. You know, I, th I think we all knew that. That was a safe bet. Why in the fuck did they go? We get the whole show, three years and nine tenths of a show, where the kills are all shocking and instant. Then Ruth gets shot. And it's done in slow motion like the bionic man picking up a boulder. It's like, dun, 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 dun. And they show the bullet going, boom, 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 on her shirt and shit. What the hell was that? Maybe just to make it, because they probably knew that everybody was rooting for her. So they've got to make it more pressing, you know, and everybody's got to see Ruth die because she's just this loved character. Ugh. Well, not really loved, but. People not are not for hated. Him. Not hate. Show. Well, everybody on that show, that show is much like The Sopranos, that every character is hateable. Yeah. Well, there, here's a question for you. Yeah. If you had to spend the weekend yeah. secluded yeah. with the birds yeah. or The Sopranos, including the mom on oh. The Sopranos and the sister, oh my who would God. you rather spend the weekend with? <laughs> so my, my choices are the birds. Or Sopranos. Janice and Mama Soprano. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> Who has the, the quicker access to a gun for me to shoot myself? Jesus, God. Um, That's a good question. Who does? Um, so really, it's like who... Who can I sneak a peek at, really, is what it comes down to. <laughs> do I want to look at Meadow or do I want to look at the daughter of the birds? Uh, Meadow. I think I go Meadow. <laughs> Because <laughs> I don't want to spend any time with any of these fucking people. The birds, the Sopranos, I would be in fear. 
I, I would be in fear. I would hate Janice, and I would hate the mother, and I would be afraid that if I said something, that Tony would just fucking kill me. Right. So I would have like a real death fear with with the Sopranos. With the birds, I just hated them. I, I like they're they're like an employee that you work with that you don't like. Right. <laughs> and every day you come in and they're like, "Oh, how was your weekend?" And you're like. Oh. And you're like, it was fine. Why are you asking me? I don't like you. <laughs> you know that, that they were. Did is that a fair yes. comparison? Of them? That's that's actually was my answer to, or in my thinking was just like, I would just be pissed off the entire yeah. week. At least there would be some kind of entertainment with the Sopranos. You know, you could make light of the mom whining yeah. and you know whatever but i would just be probably focused on putting my hands around the mom's throat in ozark and oh yeah i hated hated, hated her, her. Uh, I, the only one i could think of that i hated worse than her well obviously janice janice is my all time hated yeah, i know i just last. <laughs> janice is the worst but as far as moms go i didn't hate mama soprano as much as I did the mom from Breaking Bad. Oh, yes. She sucked. Oh, she was terrible. She, That's why I like Better Call Saul so much better than Breaking Bad. Because she's not, she's in not on it. <laughs> I, I know. So, okay, so let's, let's go into that realm. Who would you rather spend a week with there? Walter and her and the kid that can't walk. Or, and this, you got to add in the sister-in-law and brother-in-law too. Oh sister -in -law's yeah, annoying. Hank and Hank and the klepto sister. Yeah. Or the birds. Oh, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> God, this is awful. That is the word. Wow. That's that's literally the which lung do you want your cancer in? I'm gonna go find Gus and just have him put me out of misery. <laughs> 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 That's what Just I'm saying. Kill who, has, me, please. <laughs> who has the easier access to a gun so I can shoot myself? Because, wow. Uh, that's, well, uh, I guess that's it would bad. be the birds in that case because there weren't too many guns laying around yeah. Walter White's house. Yeah. I, I, that's, a, that's a real toss up of awful time. We should have done this for Mother's Day. <laughs> 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 the worst mothers ever. <laughs> right. No shit. Ooh. Father's Day is coming up. Well, there we go. But yeah, but the fathers, you usually like the dads. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But, all right. So we've, we've picked apart the ending. I got a couple other points before we wrap this thing up. Okay. Here, this, this is my biggest bitch of the whole thing, even more than the ending, if you can believe that. I hate, 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 hate. And this is the laziest fucking writing. I can't believe they did this. So Marty is basically an accountant they yes. never built him up to be a badass they never built him up to be tough he you know he made some tough decisions here and there but ultimately when something tough needed to be done that's when he yanked ruth into things yeah to get the tough stuff done he wasn't a tough guy so they send him to mexico to be a badass and they just buy into that stuff. Yeah, I hated that part. Hated the, the, it. It didn't make any sense. He's he's not a cartel member. Yeah, he's just a guy. Those cartel members, they've killed hundreds of people, but they're all of a sudden going to be afraid of Marty? That's that, right. Like, all of a sudden, because he's sitting there going through their books, they yeah. fear for their life. Yeah, and, and let's pull that apart. Since you brought it up, let's go to that, too. In drug cartels... How accurate do you think the books are kept? <laughs> do you really think they even keep books? Only if there's a, f a business fronting it. No, they don't. Wrong. I have watched a zillion documentaries on the Medellin car to cartel. And one of the biggest things that they've said that their loss of, loss of money has been over the years has been because like they buried money out in the desert because they had nowhere to store it and it got eaten by rats oh. and coyotes and shit so they just they just take that as loss and when planes crash and whatever when they're smuggling money and drugs back and forth it's just lost there's nobody keeping a spreadsheet on this shit yeah 
that whole and that was like two episodes of dumb. Yeah, they were, and and then it ended up being the whole wrong guy that he was beating, and I'm just yeah, and then the the sister-in-law's in it, and uh, yeah, and I then just, she's like Marty, you've got to be tough, you've got to be tough, and then he wasn't tough. They just did, they just did what he wanted them to do, and he wasn't, he never even told them to. Yeah, he was kind of like going, wait, 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 no, and then he just let it happen. That's not tough. They, why wouldn't he have sent Ruth down there to handle that problem? That's what I was gonna. I was just gonna say that the toughest person on the show was Ruth. She should have went down there. Yeah, <laughs> she and that could have been somebody. her way out of the birds thing. We'll give you the fucking boat if you go and handle the cartel. Yeah, but instead, they went with, "Well, Marty is Marty has to act tough. Get out of here with this." I don't know what was worse, that or. Looking at the mom, I can't even remember her name now because I. But uh, cunt. Yeah, looking at cunt every time <laughs> something came up, or Marty would find a way out of it, or Ruth would find a way to fix her own problems, and then she would come in and just no, 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 we're not doing that. Yeah, we're doing this, and it's like, well, who the hell is she? Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, and, and here's Mar a backbone. But, right, well, and Marty just goes along with it. Marty's like, oh, okay, you know, that's what we got to do. But, he, but he's strong enough to stand up to every, every cartel member in Mexico. Right. Come but on. Not, not that but not his chick. Not his chick, but every cartel leader in Mexico. When that car flipped over, I would have grabbed both my kids and just threw a match behind me and left. Let that car I, blow up with her in it. I would have gone, I, I, when the car rolled over, over there... I was hoping that he went all um, Tony Soprano on Christopher and oh. just put his hand on her mouth and her, yeah. <laughs> her throat and choked <laughs> her ass out. I was, I was wishing that would happen, but instead he was like, no, no, we have to get her out. We have to get her out. And then they got her out and she was unconscious. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's going to die. She's dead. Yay. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. Damn it. And I was like, oh, no, we had a little car accident. We're fine. Get yeah, then they, just, then they just walk up to the house like nothing yeah. even happened. Yeah, we eh, and they even said it when the guy, whoever was there, was there to talk to him, and they were just like, "Oh, we just had a little car accident. We're fine." Yeah, and that yeah. was it. The 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 last <laughs> what was it? Seven episodes that they did was that seven? Yeah, all of them were bad as far as I'm concerned. It was. <sighs> it took. It really almost went the Dexter route of like. Four really good seasons, and then it just died. Yeah, and, and almost to the point where, like, even in Dexter, where it almost ruined the rest of the season. Yeah, mm -hmm. where it's, it's like not watchable anymore. It, it's funny. Uh, we we talked a little bit about this on Toomey um, on the Talk Toomey show um, yesterday, I guess, or whenever we recorded it, and um, and somebody posted to me that the Dexter ending was way worse. And I and my answer was no. This was way worse because at least with Dexter, you knew what happened, Ooh, yeah. regardless of if it was terrible, which it was. You no, knew what was. happened. You know, it, 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 at least there was an ending. This has no. This they're just opening the door to spin it off, and they're going. I know they're going to. It's too popular of a show not to. If they can get these people to uh. to do it again, and why wouldn't they? What else is Jason Bateman doing? But they can't bring back Ruth. Well, that'll be the... the they, but they could recreate Ruth. They could find a new Ruth in Chicago. No. Yeah, nope. the member of the Shameless family. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Fiona. <laughs> no, I imagine it's not Debbie. Be Fiona. It'd be Debbie. Debbie. That's it. That's who it is. <laughs> then, I'll, then I won't be a fan because I hated Debbie. <laughs> yeah, well, they'd have to pull her away from the Connors to get her to... To get her yeah. to be a criminal again, but she's not good on that show either. Well, no one's good on that show. That's another topic for. Oof. Yeah, we'll talk so, about that one too. All right, that's fine. All right, well, I think we've pretty much beat this thing to death. Um, so for people that are interested, Cruella, watch. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Ozark. I'm gonna still say you have to watch. I I think you have to watch. No. You can't just, you can't get this far and quit. I think, you know what? I think I wish I would have waited until all of it was out and then just watched it all at once instead of waiting for that long period of time for that final season. 
because then I would have more time to build up and yeah. build up, and I think it made it even worse. Okay, but if like, okay, so let's play this out. If you had done that, if you had waited all the way until a month ago and you started watching it from episode one, and you watched it every night until now, would you have gone to the end, or would you have got bored and not gone to the end? Oh, I don't stop watching things. <laughs> No matter how like bad me. they are, <laughs> you're like me. Very, very few things. The only th I did, I did finally stop watching Grey's Anatomy. I won't finish that. I don't. Care. Right. That just got stupid. So it has to get really bad. Yeah, dude. I, I, no I'm hope. like, I'm like that with Law and Order SVU. I finally jumped off that shark. Did but you? I've been hating that show. I've been hating that show for the last four years, and I kept watching it. Kept watching it. Kept watching. Until they, they they jumped me off this year because they made her eight year old son come out as a bisexual or some shit, and I was like, "All right, I'm out." That's the I was new like, thing. I was like, "That's enough for me." Now we're yeah. worried about Mariska's kid being trans or whatever. I was like, "I'm out. Goodbye." You know, I want to see rape and solve. That's what I want. <laughs> I don't want to see your dumb kid. Rape somebody, solve them, solve the rape. That's what that show is. <laughs> Fuck's sake. All right. Again, yeah. another topic, another time. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, this has been fun. Uh, this has been another one. Um, you got anything that you want me to watch? Because oh, we can send to... the fans to do it, too, if you want. I'll have to think about that. All right. Actually. You like, be... you like Sopranos? Oh, no. I do have one. All right. What do you got? Um, Young Rock. Oh, the Young Rock um, with yes. uh, the, the with, WWE thing? Yeah, with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Is he in it? Yeah. He's I haven't watched character. it. I, I'll, I'll watch it. And he plays I'll, himself in the future. I'll watch. You, know, you know what's weird about that guy? I've never watched any of his movies. Not a single one. Really? I never have. I don't know why. I'm a fan. I loved him as The Rock. I, you, know, yep. I, you know me in wrestling. I love it. Never watched it. The only thing I've ever watched him in, which I thought he was awesome in, was that show Ballers on HBO, uh -huh. where he was a sports agent. And that show fucking kicks ass. So I don't know what it is about him. Maybe it's the first time I remember seeing him that he was playing the fucking Tooth Fairy or something. And I was like, Ugh, no, you know, <laughs> that was like that. that was a fun. That was funny, though. It was cute. But I always see. A Right before wrestling starts on um, on TBS every Wednesday, they they or TNT or whatever channel it's on, they they're like running. They run like big movies, and I have no idea what the movie is, but I see the last five minutes of this movie with The Rock and Kevin Hart, and Kev The Rock is waiting outside in a truck to give Kevin Hart this jacket, and I have no idea what any of it means. But then they both get in the car or in the truck and drive off. Are you sure but, it's a movie? Because those two are always doing something dumb together. It, it might be a show. I don't know. I, I just know that they, it's the same scene. Like, they run this show all the time. Movie, huh. show, whatever. Huh. All, and I see the same, like, three minutes of it, and then the wrestling starts yeah. all the time. So I don't know what it, what it is. Well, but I think you might enjoy... It could go one of two ways with Young... I think it's called Young, young Rock. Rock. Um, it can go where you're going to be like, okay this is not accurate at all because you're a big wrestling fan right. or you're going to super enjoy all the characters that are built in. When so is it about his wrestling or is it about before he was a wrestler? Like when he was a football player his, and all that? his whole life. All right. His well, whole I'll check life. that out. Um, the season ends now. They're, what it is, the basis of it is he's, mm -hmm. it, it's the future, far in the future, and The Rock or Dwayne Johnson is running mm -hmm. for president. Okay. And he's got this fella that is doing all these interviews with him, like kind of like following him around for a okay. part of his campaign. So he's telling all these stories about his past. So right. each episode is, you know, a different time in his life or whatever. They really didn't start talking about him starting to get into wrestling until the last season. But Okay. Um, How many seasons is this? I, I only I think it just... is just two, two or three. Yeah, it's all not right. very many. Um, How is it? I don't know. What channel is it on? Is it on Peacock? I've been watching it on Hulu. Okay, I have Hulu. I'll watch it. Yep. And there's yeah. a lot of 
old wrestlers on there. People playing right. the old wrestlers. So it's it's fun. It's fun. All right. Well, I, I'll I, check that one out. Like it. <laughs> I'll check it out, and I'm going to send you the homework since you like okay. The Sopranos. On Peacock, you got to start watching Yellowstone. Okay. That All show right. is it's it's The Sopranos. I mean, honestly, it is. It's The Sopranos if they were cattle wrestlers. Okay. <laughs> but it's modern. I mean, it's modern. It's not like set in like 1843 or whatever. It's it's today's time, but it's 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 really violent. It's really like it's okay. it's it's like the the Sopran like the the main family are just fucking scumbags, and they just go out and kill politicians and kill people and it's How all many kinds seasons of. Is that one? Four. Four. They're okay. into season four right now, but okay. You'll get five minutes in and you'll be hooked. I I, okay. I I will promise you that I'll be, I'll make that deal to you and anybody that's watching this right now. Okay. If you can watch the first ten minutes, I'll say. If you can watch to the first set of credits, and you don't like it, then by all means turn it off and tell me that I'm full of shit. Because <laughs> I'm going to guarantee you, you're going to watch that first scene and you're going to be like, "Holy mother of fuck!" <laughs> okay. All right. I mean, that's deal. how intense. That's how intense that shit is from the jump. I mean, I'm just watching Golden Girls and uh, rewatching Stranger Things right now, so I'm not not in well. This in anything is, serious. <laughs> well, this is serious. I'll tell you that now. This is there's not a lot of joking around on this, and, and I'll tell you who's surprising: Kevin Costner as a bad guy. Oh, I didn't know he's, he was in it. I didn't he's know the lead. About this. Yeah, he's the lead, and he is a piece of shit. Oh. And I can't believe it. And he talks like Batman too. That's the funny thing too. He's oh, like. Geez. We got to get out there on the farm and get those cows <laughs> rustled up. You know, he's like got that whole South thing going on. It's fucking hilarious Man. to hear. But. It's a long way from uh, when he was married to the Indian tribe or, yeah. you know. Yeah, you know, dances with wolves. <laughs> building, building baseball diamonds. <laughs> yeah, or swimming, water yeah. world. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a long way from there, that's for sure. But it's fucking good. So there's your homework. You're going to go to Yellowstone. I'm going to go to Young Rock. And we'll meet in the middle here in a couple of weeks. Okay, sounds good. Oh. All right. So for Chris Aiken presents, um, I have been Chris Aiken. You have been who? Um, Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Stephanie lovely Drake. The lovely Stephanie Drake. And we're out of here. And that's it. I'm not even going to say I'll be Chris tomorrow because you already know that. <laughs> so there you go. See ya. See ya. With trucker strikes and rising inflation, food shortages are becoming a big, big problem. Don't let yourself get caught unprepared. Buy a food survival kit today from My Patriot Supply and save. Over 2,000 calories a day to keep you healthy and strong with a 25-year shelf life to ensure it's ready for you when the shit hits the fan. Go to www.bit.ly slash cmspnfood Order your supplies today and invest in yourself and your family now before it's too late. www.bit.ly slash cmspnfood. My Patriot Supply.